so uh, you don't have any like actual physical straws and for some reason you also don't have paper or scissors and so you need to use the digital straws first off this is going to be a much more complicated and frustrating option so really uh, in your best interest to find some straws or some pieces of paper and some scissors and and really I mean if you just fold it in half a couple of times like you could just you know do one of these it'll work but for those of you without the straws check it out so you're in the the straw fish document and you've done all the intro things you've read this and you're ready to uh, pick some fish remembering that when you get yellow twice you'll get a yellow fish blue twice you get a blue fish and if you get one of each either blue and yellow or yellow and blue you will get a green fish so uh, and that's what that's saying right here so that's a drawing from our gene pool now to do that you're actually going to load up the these instructions link so here that is how fun um, other thing check this out oh now it's on oh now it's so much bigger how'd you do that you just change the zoom level from the normal view to fit your screen and now it's as wide as you need it to be oh the majesty so the first thing you'll do uh, if you if you can't again remind you say hey do this other stuff you're going to um, open up the straws.txt so it looks like this and you'll notice it just says blue 20 times and yellow 20 times because that's what's going in our gene pool and the numbers um, they don't matter as far as like this blue 18 is the same as drawing a blue 12 but you have to have them in there because the site we're going to use this random results.com slash tournament picker needs to have uh, 20 different blues and 20 different yellows or it'll just pick once blue versus yellow the end so you take your straws here and you're just gonna select it all do a little uh, control C for copy control V paste it and then you know if you're paranoid you can make that bigger but you know it just says blue red uh, leave that on to leave that on anything click draw now so here it's made you'll notice 20 draws for you it's calling them groups uh, competitor one yellow 14 blue 18 so right here you can see we've got a green fish and then right here blue 12 blue 8 that'd be a blue fish yellow 5 blue 1 green fish blue fish yellow fish so on and so forth so you fill out the the data table on your Google Doc which is uh, back here you fill out your data table that was uh, round one just count them fill in your data table when you get to round two things get a little interesting so we go back to our instructions right only the survivors are gonna go in so remember every other in the first condition every other like uh, bluefish is gonna get eaten I think let's see uh, yeah predators prefer blue so every other bluefish will be eaten first out of this first drawing so when you go back these ones will be out right this fish maybe survives this fish is out so blue 3 and blue 10 they're gone what I think is the easiest way you just come up here find blue 3 and blue 10 and delete them all right your other option could be if you if you didn't do that or this got weird or that's confusing and scaring you right you just come back here and let's say you had 12 blue fish and and 20 yellow fish Fish. alleles not fish do you come back here in the drawing you got the box right here hit control a or just use your mouse to select everything get rid of it type the word blue copy it and we had 12 of these so we're gonna go blue one enter paste blue two enter paste three oh see you messed it up four and so on and so forth so on and so forth until you've got 12 blues right it basically you're gonna be looking at you're gonna be doing something like this so if we had 12 blue survivors then you need to type out blue 12 times and then yellow 20 times because all the maybe all the yellow and green fish survive so you just count out your survivors count out your surviving alleles from your data table here and however many surviving alleles the number you have here that's what's going to go back into the box here and then you'll hit go again so see what happens if we had 20 blue surviving allele or 20 yellow surviving alleles and 12 blue surviving alleles we can copy that get rid of everything in here paste it leave it on to and anything and draw again and you'll see this time boom we have fewer fish but don't worry 
we're just going to be looking at the percentages when we do our graphs anyway. So never fear uh, that the number of the population is going down. We're not going to look at raw number. We're just going to look at the percentage overall anyway. So that's how you draw fish when you don't have things to draw. As you can see, probably worth tracking down a piece of paper and writing blue and yellow 20 times each.